Yo, what's good, y'all? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna be taking you guys to a location where I dread it the most, and that would be University of Toronto. <laughs> no, I kid. Um, I graduated last year. It took a hot minute. I actually took a long ass minute to graduate undergrad, but um, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about photography. So my plan is to start from the main gate, which is at College Street and visit all the pretty buildings and work my way up to Robarts Library and come down all the way down and do a full loop. Uh, that's the plan. I'm like 99% sure that not a lot of people are gonna be there. I mean, who goes to school during a lockdown, right? Uh, but yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace. We're currently at the intersection of College Street and University Avenue. Glad I remember hanging on this pathway when I used to go to school. Ah, I was always the last guy to attend class. ISO 160 and 200 shutter. Let's see what it looks like. Wait, what? Guess what, guys? I forgot my memory card. <laughs> last time I forgot to charge my battery. This time I, I, my battery's charged, but I forgot my goddamn memory card. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with JPEG for this one because this is my backup memory card. The read and write speed isn't as fast as my main SD card. So, but anyways, like I was saying, I was always the last guy to come into class. Always 10, 20 minutes late. Profs did not like me at all. <laughs> Whatever, I pulled through. I graduated. Uh, let's see. Let's go all the way down to 100 ISO. Shutter can stay 320. You know what? Since I'm on JPEG, I might as well use clear my zoom. I always keep my grid on so that I can line the streets well with the grid. But here is the main entrance for UFT. If you walk down like this, you'll see Victoria College. Let me crouch down and take a quick shot. See, this is the love and hate relationship with EFT. I always dreaded coming here. So much workload, so much reading, so much essays, so many exams, so many assignments. But once you get here, hold up, before I say something, I, I like that. I'm not sure if you guys can pick up on the fog because it might be a little blown out. But uh, this is a banger right here. Yeah, again, for these, for photos like this, I might have to edit it, lower the highlights because it's gonna look blown out. But anyways, like I was saying, whenever I have like family members or guests coming over to Toronto from like other countries, I bring them here and they're like, this is your school. They're always fascinated by how classy it looks. So I guess that's one positive thing about UFT. Major construction going on. This open field is usually where the, the graduation ceremony is held. This is the convocation hall. Usually a lot of uh, first year students, when there's the classes are like 500, 600, maybe, to, maybe even to the thousands, sociology 101, psychology 101, astronomy 101, whatever. The big scaled classes, the first, first year classes, they all gather here. Zoom all the way out to 28. This is the widest I can go. I, I brought my, by the way, I brought my Tamron 20 through 75 for this one. But I'm liking it. The convocation hall it will used to be one of my favorite parts about EFT because of how grand the scale was. 1,000 to 1,500 other students gathered in one area taking a class for two hours. It's a, it's a sight to see, to be honest. I'm walking around this giant construction field. It's unfortunate I can't show you guys how beautiful the open field is. You know, that fog, why is that so interesting to me? Again, it's blown out. Maybe go lower, use clear and zoom. 50 ISO, shutter can stay 500. I might as well go F4 for this. Nice. Uh, mm, I'm gonna make use of my clear and zoom the most today because I only have the, the 70, uh, 28 to 75. So long as I stay steady, shouldn't be a problem. Take a picture of this door on my right. Must stay around 30 to 40. Nice. 
And off we go. A lot of tourists come here in this open area, especially like parents of the students. It's a sight to see. I ain't gonna lie. I genuinely forgot what this building was called. It's um, I think it's the Victoria College. Kind of looks like a castle, ain't it? Let's take one picture. I'll take one landscape and then I'll take one portrait because it's that special. Maybe with the bike? I don't know, add something special. Ah, the, the branches, man, getting in the way. This clock tower, so much texture. Way, 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 way up. Let's see. I'm telling you, man. Straight out of Harry Potter or something, I ain't gonna lie. I'll take one without the branches as well. For right now, I'm gonna take a picture of this clock tower. Center myself right here with the people walking on the sidewalks. Let's use some foreground background action for this one though. Use the lamp. Yo, ain't that a banger? Look at this. Going up, going up. Here we go. So one with the lamp focused and one with that's a beaut god dog the nostalgia is kicking in it's a love-hate relationship with EOT man I'm gonna have to pull out my clear and resume again go to good place to punch way in to 75 and then times two clear my zoom doesn't that look good guys would have been better if, if a person stood still maybe this the the dogs just gonna wait until they line perfectly in the middle the, the leash is tangled perfect timing still waiting and first shot nice but one without anyone walking by Look how grand it is, man. Line up with the clock. Awesome. Since I'm here, I might as well show you the hard house. I don't know if I can go in though. Let's try. Let's try, let's try. That's cute. She's really good though. I don't know if you guys caught it, but this is the hard house. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. It's all good. I need to show you guys um, the Robarts Library. That is the epitome of agony. The U of T students will understand what I'm saying. The pure agony that people experience in that building. Oh God. <laughs> I make it sound way worse than it is, but hold up, hold up. Right between the branches, I see CN Tower. Can't miss that. Clear my zoom. Gonna be shaky, so I'm gonna go 1 3 20th. ISO can be lower at around, whoops, that's frame rate. Don't mess with that. 160, keep it steady, keep it steady. And boom, got it. I'm gonna go this way. It's so grand. Look at the letters. You see that? Cycle through. Uh, maybe a little side profile. Someone's getting a ticket, that car. Oh wait, hold up, that's her car. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. All right, recenter and off we go. Open field view. I'll show you what it is. Gonna do a quick pan. And that's the Robarts Library, guys. I'll take you closer. <laughs> And yes, today is all about architecture and building photography. Lots of texture for today. For example, this one. Zoom all the way in. ISO down. Shutter way up. Texture and boom. Ah oh man, brings back memories, man. It's a dope ass looking school. I ain't gonna lie, I'll give you that. There's actually three campuses for U of T. There's uh, the Mississauga campus. This one is the downtown St. George campus. And then the one in the east is uh, the Scarborough campus. This is the Robert's Library. I mentioned this before, but on Reddit, there's a subreddit called Evil Buildings. And uh, I recently saw Robert's Library featured on that subreddit. And I was like, yup, yup, that seems about right. And people call it, uh, what did they call it? I forgot. Was it called the Grand Turkey? I actually forgot, but I'll show you what I mean. I gotta walk way back though. The Robert's Library, AKA Big Ass Brick of Turkey. But the face and all, that's the face. The rest is the body. <laughs> it actually does look like a turkey or some, some sort of 
peacock or whatever. All right, adjust my settings. Oh, it's way too dark. Punch out. I'm gonna take a landscape photo. Nice. And I want punch way in and the highlights maybe a little blown out. There we go. Brings out that nostalgia vibe. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Yo. Hold up. I think I can capture a portrait shot of this big ass turkey. <laughs> Alright. Recenter. And you know what? Where should I go? I haven't thought this out well, but uh Let's take one middle shot while we're here. Doggy. Nice. Oh no, my battery is almost running out. I don't know what's wrong with my DJI. The lifespan on this isn't that long. It's like, what is it? 38 minutes and then, and I see the battery indicator flashing. Ah, oh, God. Might have to look into it. Maybe it's because I'm using 4K. Plus the weather is extremely cold. Well, not extremely cold, but for the battery that's included inside the DJI Pocket 2. It's a small device, so the battery isn't that big anyways. I don't know. Was it like 880 milliamps or whatever? It's not that big, so 1080p. Uh, I really don't want to. I want to keep that. I want to keep that 4K. Before the weather was this cold, um, I used to be able to go for like an hour and a half. Because I was planning on um, doing the Chinatown as well. Whatever. If it shuts down, it shuts down. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep rolling until then. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. The vibe, man. The vibe. You know what? I'm just going to keep walking down St. George. Wait, is this St. George? Yeah, this is St. George too. I did a semi-loop. I'm halfway there. I'm hoping um, I can make it till College Street before the battery runs out. I'm going to wait until this lady walks by. In the middle. Yeah. Alright. Again, empty streets. What's interesting? Oh, yo, the skateboard girl. She's right here. Let me take one quickly before she goes away. Good practice, where is she? There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's cute. Today is nothing but CN Tower and texture and buildings and evil buildings and Grand Turkey and I'm hungry. What? Alright, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Can I zoom? Let's stay at 1.5 this time. Not too close. No, it has to be close. Pull it way up. You guys see the kicks? Maybe through the branches? Yeah, I like this one. Today's video is sponsored by Nike. I'm just kidding. Okay, we're almost there. Surprisingly, the battery is still running. University of Toronto. Mm. Chinatown is gonna be my next video, I guess. The battery is not sufficient enough. It's all good though. And just as I was about to take my last couple of photos, the battery died on me. So I'm walking back home and uh, we are back at the main entrance main gate but anyways i'll catch you back at home peace i'm gonna be straight with you sometimes this works wonders other times straight bogus don't get me wrong this is a powerful small little device compared to my phone look at the size comparison it's such a compact little thing i mean it is a sensor that has a gimbal so the stabilization works wonders the 4k is great but i don't know man the battery capability of this device i'm sure the software is optimized for such a small battery but it's still pretty bogus i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna have to carry an extra battery charger but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video as you guys can tell this was a pretty short short one but I mean hollowed out streets I, there's nothing I can do about that but yeah that's pretty much it I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one peace